What is happening, guys? Welcome back. All right, so last episode we took out another little mini boss here. Uh, I'd say he was like poison. I didn't know really what to refer to him as. He was poison, walked slow, uh, glitched out sometimes. At the very end of the fight, he glitched out and then tumbled over dead. So, oh well, <laughs> that was that boss. Um, now we're going to go to the Tower of Penis, I believe. Or Penance. Penis? Penance? Something like that. Does not open from this side. Of course it doesn't. Why would I think any other? Ooh, braided ring. We also got this cool ring too last episode. We found it. Uh, the guy at the hub was selling it. and I'm, He must have been selling it for a while, but I just picked it up. Basically, you get m uh, mana back from striking an enemy. So, figured it might be pretty good on this build. Uh, ring crafted. Summon allies can use more ranged attacks before disappearing. Hmm. It's kind of an interesting ring. Boss... During like boss attacks or boss during boss fights, they your allies will use more range attacks. Interesting. Map of Tower of Penance. All right, let's look at the map. Actually, we've got a few of these maps that we kind of forgot to look at, so we got to get back to using these maps. They definitely do help. All right, so Tower of Penance. Uh, looks like we're gonna make our way down, and then we're gonna come across an altar or what might be a vestige. And then we're going to take a right to that vestige and take an elevator that goes up to the top of the tower. Well, that seems pretty straightforward. And there's also an elevator here, too, which makes me wonder what that does. Uh, let me run around this side of the building real quick. See if there's anything here. I guess the elevator's the only way. All right. Let's go. So we're going to go up. We're going to go up to go down to go up. That's basically how this is going to work, I guess. Interesting. And to see. I'll put one here. I know we just put one down, but like we've, we've got plenty. Okay, so... We got a... This is going to be a puzzle room, I'm guessing. This definitely seems like a puzzle room. Thinking about just going to Umbro right away. Might be the most be best way to do this. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Do I have to jump that? Yeah, I do. Okay, what did that do? Did this do anything? Oh, it made me able to get over here, I guess. That's true. Because we have to go down. That is what the plan is. That's convenient. Then what does this do? Maybe we're supposed to bring that back? Or not? I'm not seeing our mana bar come up. Must be like... Not very much mana we get. I definitely think I'm going to put on a ring though that... Uh, helps us with dread, I think. Is there a ring that does that? Ring consisting... Increased resistance to dread. I think that might be a good ring to have on here. Right, we're just going to keep making our way down, I guess. Uh, wish the kicks did more. The 
kick is a cool feature, but it just doesn't do any damage. Oh, one of these dudes. Kinda lost if we burst one of these guys. We're a lot more tougher than that now. <laughs> Alright, we need to go... We need to bring this back over on that side now, or not? If we did that, we would go on there, which we were just over there, weren't we? Or no, maybe we do do that, and then we drop down to there? Or do we climb down to here? I don't know, I just know we're supposed to go down. That's what we said on the thing, so... But our eye is filling up relatively quick here, so we have to be careful about that. Large delirium shard, that's awesome. That's good upgrade material right there. Um so maybe you jump over there? Or jump down there? There's a couple different things you could do here. I don't know if we can make that jump to be honest. Oh yeah, we can make that jump. And then from here, maybe up here. Drop down to here. And then get out of Umbral. Actually, I don't need to kill these if I'm going to leave Umbral. Oh, maybe I do. I can't get out of here yet. Now we can. Actually, easier to see sometimes in Umbral with that blue glow. Oh my. Let's be careful here. Crossbow dudes. Oh, he threw... <laughs> he ran right through the middle. Maybe that's why they put the hole there to lead him off. That's pretty funny. Alright, we can open this door now for a shortcut. Nice. here. Ooh. Rune tablet. Oh, rune tablet. Oh, that's what the girl, that's what the blacksmith needed. Dude, that's awesome. We've been looking for that for a while. That's great. I wonder what we can do with that now. Okay, so we're still supposed to go down, right? As far as I know, still supposed to go down. Probably putting a thing here might be a good idea. Alright. I need to drop straight down onto this bridge, right? Well, that worked. And there's going to be archers, of course. Let me see if I can take this one out.
Nice. And where are the other archer is? There's two archers, I thought, down here. I was shot from two different directions, I thought. Are you an archer? No, you're one of those bell dudes, I think. Alright. Ladder that goes down. I think they added a sound in the last patch to ladder sounds, because before it didn't before whenever you slid down a ladder there was no noise. I think they added that. Faint bigger skull. Always can take more of those. Oh, fun. Oh, what? Dude, what the shit? Okay, I was gonna say, he better die. <laughs> Alright, uh... Is that one of those big dudes? Can I get a smash attack on him? I make sure there's not a crossbow dude. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, he's a lot tougher than... He's a big dude. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. He was just the boss that we just fought. These things are weird, too. Tanky, but, like, weak. Like, tanky... Not, well, not weak, but tanky, like, uh... They have a lot of HP. But they, uh, just weird. Weird enemies. Bramble Ring. What the hell is Bramble Ring? Uh, gain health upon inflicting smite. Mmm, we don't really put it, have anything that does smite right now, though. Oh, gosh. Yeah, when you kill those things, poison comes out, too. I just realized that. Oh, man. Two of those things in there? There's not need to be two of those things. Those things are tanky, man. All right, you wanna you wanna play you wanna play games? We'll play games. Oh no, I'm out of... Shit. I'm out of magic too, for that matter. They're such a weird enemy though. They're not fast, they're slow. They don't have any ranged ability. They All they do is just... Spew poison. Oh, man. Okay, he's dead, right? One of them's dead. I have... Got to get this poison off me, though. Take him out, please. Thank you. 
All right, I need to figure out and get my life back maybe here. Be smart. And also need to grab Where's the healing one? down here. Now since we have a little bit of health we can look around. We're not being chased by the dead. This door is locked. Nothing in here. And nothing in here. another crossbow dude here. I was shot at from some direction and there's why. We're definitely resting. Uh, we have 12,000. How many seeds do we have? One seed left? Let's go back. We also can turn in that tablet now, too, to the blacksmith. See what we get for that. Because Sparky does, uh, says not to do it. But I can't talk to Sparky, though. I can only talk to her. The final tablet. With that tablet, Galinda will have no further use for me. I'll buy that, Sparky. It will allow me to finally cast off these shackles. All I ask for, Trevor, is my freedom. You shut your mouth. Don't do anything foolish, human. Not when we're both so close to getting what we want. Just think of the power Galinda can give you. Okay, so... Hand the rune tablet to Sparky, hand the rune tablet. So here's my thing on this. All Sparky is going to do is escape. That's all he can do with this tablet. Like, he, he did not say he was going to benefit me in any way. Now, he, when you go into a negotiation, you always want to bring in a tactic to benefit the other party. Because if you do not do that, you're going to lose when it comes to negotiation. Uh, that's a basic psychology thing. So, Gl uh, Glorinda, she already told me she can grant me power, so she won the negotiation. Sorry, Sparky, but you offered me nothing to the table. Yes! Glorinda can already hear its sweet secrets whispering to her. <laughs> a predictable choice, Traveler. Perhaps I was foolish to expect another. Now, don't be sour, Sparky. All that wonderful runic knowledge. You so selfishly kept locked up in that big head of yours can now be put to use by someone who recognizes its value. Work like this takes time, human. But Galinda will have a little something for you soon enough. Hmm. Soon enough, so maybe let's rest and then come back. Maybe she'll have something for us. Uh, before we do that, though, let me grab some more seeds, because we're only down to one left. Burning through those things fast, especially in this new area. Chosen bearer of the lamp, like you, I serve. Alright, let's rest. And maybe then she'll have something new for us. Alright, Galinda, you better make me happy here. 
I chose you over. Oh, Sparky's gone. Did she kill him? Ah, Gerlinda's little helper returns. Sparky? Gerlinda's back to working alone and sharper at her crafts than ever. I think she killed Sparky. Also, that stubborn sad sack did come in useful one last time. Crafter's Essence. Here. What is Crafter's Essence? Not that I'll be able to know because everything in this game is hidden behind leveling something. Crafter's Essence. Was it something I got? Crafter's Essence. Weapon function. Lower a weapon's weight and stat requirement to zero. Shield function. Lower shield's weight and stat requirement to zero. That's all I got. That is nothing. That's not even going to help us. Bro. Okay. Gerlinda full of squabbling, short sighted heart. The Gerlinda has some score. Can you do anything cool now with these runes or not? Literally, all you gave me was ignore weight and stat requirement. That does not. That. Oh my gosh. That's stupid. That is such a. I kind of wish I would have went with Sparky now. Even though Sparky didn't tell me anything. All Sparky was going to have to do was tell me something. Because I already didn't like Glinda that much. I mean, she just seemed creepy. So I was willing to help Sparky. But he didn't give me an offer. Like, he didn't even bring any te any benefit to the table. Alright, Gr uh, Glorinda. Can you upgrade my bloody glory yet? No, you cannot. So, you, literally, you are useless to me right now. Alright. Um... We probably have enough runes to level if we pop something real quick. Uh, maybe two of these. Probably enough to get one level. Uh, 10,000. Yeah, we do. We have enough for one level. Alright. Let's go back to the wall. Or the uh, tower. Not wall. Tower. Hopefully she can do something with that tablet, but, uh, actually, wait a second. You don't think those tablets are how she has craft or stones to buy, is it? Like, is that how, like, is that like the bell bearing maybe in from Elden Ring? Like the bell bearings, you know, you can, you can buy as many stones as you need. Is that how that works here? As if so. No, regular delirium. That's all she sells. Wow. What a annoyance. Lorinda, you really are not beneficial to me in any way or another. Other than upgrading my weapon. Hmm, we need to get a plus nine weapon though. I feel like we're close. Okay, how did you not fall off? Because if I... Okay. Oh, another one of these things. Okay, I opened a door or something down there. I opened something with that lever. Do I want to fight this thing or not? Do I want to just run by him? He's slow. He's not going to chase me. He's not going to benefit me in any way or another. Alright, I opened something down here with that lever. Not that. Um, that maybe? No, not that. Is this something I opened, maybe? No, that's where I came from, I think. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to... Okay, I see. I'm supposed to go down.
Uh, down again? Kind of looks like it. What's down there, though? What's going to come after me after I jump? Well, we're going to find out. Nothing. Are you one of those? Oh, yeah, you're one of those dudes. I'm not going to worry about you. Hmm. It's okay. We got Umbral. Oh, wait, no, that's... Oh, shit, that's going to bring me up there. Is there a... I wonder if there's a... Oh yeah, there is. Right there. Nice. Okay, what did I just open? Oh, a ladder. Another one of those things? That's annoying, dude. I'm not even going to bother. I feel like I need to fight it, though. Oh, maybe I can do this. Bye-bye. Okay, that's... nothing there. Looking for one of those levers to pull. Is there a lever back here? That's going to kill me if I drop. Bro, I just want to look around. Please. Oh, there's a ladder up there. Okay. I didn't see that. I'm supposed to do down here. Is there a lever? Oh, yeah, there is. They love their crossbows in this game, man. They love their crossbows. Okay, that's a new catalyst. Radiant Purifier Catalyst? Well, we're gonna have to level that up. 
You need the Tandrids. What did that say? You need the Tancred's key to open that door. Okay. Is there a flower I could plant somewhere? maybe? No? Interesting. Ladder here maybe? Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Always a way guys, there's always a way. I'm hoping there's a flower up here I can plant. Uh, don't want to walk into a boss arena by accident, though. Anything that looks like a boss arena, I'm going to play, play it safe here. Oh, wait, what is this? What the hell? I can't hit her even. You know what? I'm just gonna grab this. Please be a Sanjinwaris. Oh, it's a nice Sanjinwaris upgrade. Let's go. If we can get to a thing now, we can upgrade our flask. Alright. Hopefully an upgrade thing is uh, flowers over here somewhere to plant. Anything? Any plants? Flowers? Plants? Come on, man. Let me plant my seed. Oh, come on. This has got to be a plant seed place. Oh, bro. Oh, right there. Let's go. Let's freaking go. gonna go back and get our uh our flask upgraded to a plus seven i think Ida. our holy work continues lamp fellow sanctified plus vessel. seven may aureus's divine radiance flow through me and into you all right And let's go back. All right. Um, seems like a pretty good stopping place right now. This is just going to go on, right? Is this a tunnel? Yeah, this is a tunnel. So, yeah, that'll, that'll be good to keep this organized. Uh, but yeah, that because we made it down the tower pendants. But I also, though, no, wait a second here. Let's look at the map. We make it, we're supposed to go down. We're supposed to go down here to where there's an altar and take a right. Okay, so we altar. I think this was the altar, right? Altar, take a right. Right here. That's interesting. It says to take a right at the altar. Let me kill this guy and look at this again. Okay, so altar. Found the altar. At the altar, we're supposed to go right. tunnel here? No. Well. 
I think. Let's check out. Oh, that's why this thing's going crazy. There's a thing around here. All right. Um, I don't understand that though. It says that the altar turn right. Like, see that? When you're standing in front of the altar, it says to go right. But we need to go left, though. Oh, open the door. Okay, I see. So maybe we go down here, fight something, they give us a key, and then we come back and open this door. That might make some more sense. Alright, so we'll wrap up there. Next episode, we'll make it down this tunnel. And hopefully we find the key to be able to get down there, to get over there to get to the top of this tower. And find out what's at the top of this tower, then. Alright, guys. Stay tuned. Much more coming soon.